Hi everyone, uh, this is my first web development tutorial and as it's my first, I'm going to keep it quite simple. I'm going to tell you about CSS sprites, what they do, how to use them, and most of all, why you should be using them. Uh, I think this is a really good trick to learn if you're just new to HTML and CSS, uh, just because I think it's crucial to know if you're going to be building websites, but also because it's just a very easy trick to to learn how to do, um, even if you only know the basics of HTML and CSS. So first of all, I'm going to explain to you what you might be wanting to use it for. Um, to explain, I've made this uh, page. This is my browser window. Uh, it's just a blank page with a single black square in it. Now that is a 200 by 200 pixel div um, with a background image, which is just a 200 by 200 pixel black square. Um, I want it to change when I move my cursor over it. Um, so when I hover my cursor over it, I want it to change from a black background to a red square background. Um, I've done this by changing the CSS background image. Here's my index file. So this is HTML. Uh, I've created a div called no sprite. I'm going to go to the style CSS um, and show you what it looks like. You'll see this is the normal state of the no sprite div and it has a background image called bgblack.png so that's the image file for that. Now it also has a hover state so what happens when you move your cursor over it and you'll see that I told it to change the background image to bgred.png so that's a different file and I will show you why in practice this isn't ideal. Now, depending on how slow my internet connection is right now, you may or may not be able to see this. Um, but I'm going to hover over it, and before it turns to red, it'll just disappear for a while. It will just flash up white. Um, you might not be able to see this, but I'm going to show you anyway. So a year ago, that was quite fast. I don't think it will be able to capture that. But just so you know, it didn't smoothly change it into red. Um, it flashes white first. And I'll tell you why that is. It's really quite simple. It's because um, when you load the page, obviously you've loaded the page, you've loaded the style sheet, and uh, you've loaded the black image square, the background image. But what you haven't loaded yet is the red image because you only load that uh, when you call the hover function. So it doesn't load until you actually move your cursor over it. That's when it loads for the first time. So, um, especially with slower internet connections, that's just going to look a bit weird. And if you're going to make menus with buttons in them, with um, nice rollover effects, um, users are going to ho hover over it, and depending on how fast their internet connection is, um, the button will just disappear for a second and it'll look really weird and not as cool as you want it to look. So there's a way to prevent that. And logically, that would be to um, have the red square loaded before you even call the hover function so it's all ready to go when you actually do hover your cursor over the div. There's a way to do that and that's through CSS sprites. Um, I'm going to show you what that is, and I'm going to explain to you what a sprite is. Um, let's just go to my image folder. Alright, so this is that black square that you just saw. This is the red square. So that's two different files for the background. Now this is my sprite file. As you can see, it has the black square and the red square already in it, in the same file. Now it looks smaller, but that's just because it's a thumbnail. The squares are both 200 by 200 pixels. And the file, because it has both squares in it, is 200 pixels wide and 400 pixels high. So that's a sprite. And what you're going to do with that is basically um, use your div as sort of a viewport. Much like in film, where you have a frame, which is sort of a viewport, and you slide the film behind it so that whatever is outside the viewport or outside the frame, whatever you want to call it, is uh, hidden and only 
the things that are um, visible through the viewport port is uh, going to be what you see. So I'm just going to make a new div here. Last one was called no sprites. So I'll call this sprite because it's using the sprite method. I'm going to save that. Go to my style sheet and I'm going to create the CSS for that. So you'll notice it's almost exactly the same as the other one. It has a relative position floats left, and this is important, it still has that 200 pixel width and that 200 pixel height, um, because that's the viewport, and that's um, the size of the square, so that's what you want to see. Um, the only thing that's really going to be different is the background, because in the no sprite, you were referring to the bgblack.png, and now you want to have the sprite file. So the sprite.png, I'm going to set it to no repeat, zero, zero. Now those two zeros signify the position of the background image. That first zero means it's zero pixels from the left side of the div, and that second zero means it's zero pixels from the top of the div. So now we're going to create the hover state. This is how you do that, sprite uh, colon hover. Um, and you only need one line for that to work. Now, in the hover state for the no sprite div, you said the background image has to change to the file bgred.png. But since we're not going to change the file, we're only going to change the background position. You still want it to be zero pixels from the left, but you want it to basically slide upwards so the red becomes visible. I'm going to slide it upwards 200 pixels because the squares are 200 pixels high. So you're going to set the top value to minus 200 pixels. Um, so basically what you've done now is you set that viewport to 200 by 200 pixels. So the only thing you're going to see is that black square. But then on the hover, you've slid the, the sprite upwards so all you can see is the red one. I'm going to show you in the browser. Refresh the page. Now you have those two divs. Um, the left one is still the one that doesn't use the sprite method, and the right one does. So the left one only has that black image loaded at this moment, and uh, the right one already has the red one because it's in the same file as the black square there. It's just hidden underneath here. So we're going to hover over this left one. And it flashed up again. Not sure if you'll be able to see it, but uh, it did. So, uh, and this right one just smoothly changes into red. You see it change immediately. So it's really that simple. I've tried to explain it as simply as I can. If it's not uh, sufficiently easy for you to follow, please do um, ask any questions you have in the comments section. Also, um, as I said before, this is my first web design tutorial. So if you have any feedback for me, um, that is most welcome. Also, any suggestions for uh, follow-ups or different tutorials, maybe more advanced stuff, it's also very welcome. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.